Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a custom form and accept form submissions on your Wix website using a little bit of code uh, via Wix Velo and uh, we will uh, authorize these submissions via sorry we will verify these submissions via the Wix CAPTCHA backend which is basically Google reCAPTCHA for this tutorial we're gonna use two APIs one is the Wix CAPTCHA backend and the other is the Wix data API to submit the uh, form submissions to a database and also I bought a new microphone so I hope you guys can hear my voice more clearly going forward okay first of all if you don't have developer mode enabled on your Wix website hover over here Dave mode and click on enable developer mode this will give you access to the Wix Velo code panel and to all the developer tools that Wix has to offer okay let's start building our form we're gonna build a very basic form so let's go ahead and click on the plus icon over here and input under input let's select a text element so this will be our first name and then last name and then one another one for email and another one for let's say phone number and just for the sake of it let's even give a drop down over here so a drop down over here and all right let me just show you how you can also uh, where's checkboxes okay uh, if you have uh, a form submission where you require users to select multiple uh, values you can use uh, check boxes like this okay let's go ahead and tidy this up a little bit text good first name um, we'll just leave the placeholder empty and uh, over here last name again placeholder empty if you want you can put a placeholder this one is email and uh, we're gonna put email address and we're going to change the type to email so that the Wix input elements uh, validates the email and over here let's say we put phone number so phone number and the last one let's say we're just going to put select one so what's the best flavor like one uh, change it to drop down list type to browser because the custom design is not quite compatible it doesn't show up in many browsers so let's arrange it a little bit over here sports interest let's just change the settings to be unchecked by default because we want the users to select this let's go ahead and place a button so the users can click on it to submit their submissions and now we have two things remaining one is the captcha element so it's under input we captcha and then we're just gonna put a text element a small text element over here so that we can show an error message if something goes wrong we're going to put it in a red color center it okay now let's go ahead and change some input element names so for the first name we're going to change this input elements name to f name Let's leave it drop down one and checkbox group one. Captcha one and let's change the button to submit. Also let's go ahead and change the button's label to say submit. And let's name this text element error and set it to be hidden by default. Okay, I think our front end is ready. Now we need to set up a database to accept these. So we have first name, last name, email, phone number, a drop down, and a checkbox. Forms and create. 
so this will be the field where we save our first name from the users another one for the last name then comes the email address phone number let's leave the phone number to be of type string which is text because sometimes uh, you might end up uh, wanting the users to put their country codes or the users might want to put brackets uh, for area codes and such all right after phone number we had a drop down so we can still use the text element sorry text type now we have a checkbox so for the checkbox we need to use the tab type tags checkbox okay you can delete the title field from the database which is a default field provided by Wix whenever you create a database and uh, just remember to assign another field as primary okay I think our um, database is ready as well let's go ahead and set up the Wix CAPTCHA so CAPTCHA on timeout so if the CAPTCHA times out we want to disable the submit button we don't want the user to be able to process their submission and let's set it to be disabled by default as well so if it's uh, timeout or if it's on error we want uh, the submit button to be disabled uh, in both scenarios but if the captcha has been verified we want to enable the submit button okay I think we're good now we just run some validation checks so settings text fields are required the drop-down field is also required checkbox field is not required we're gonna leave it like that so when this button is clicked you create a event handler and on click event handler like this and the first thing you do is you check whether let's say you want to make sure that the user has entered a name and an email the rest is let's say up in the air they can or cannot enter it so we just run checks for their first name last name and emails to see if the values are valid or not if they are not valid we present this error message so we show the error message and we set the error message messages text to be incomplete entries all right now but if the elements are valid we hide the error message in case the error message was displayed from a previous button click and then we create an object so let obj is equal to f name and this will be the f name value that the user has entered l name this will be the value that the user has entered as well email phone phone and uh, drop down checkbox all right uh, one thing if we want to insert this in a in the database we need to have the objects key similar to one in the database so you see phone is not correct over here it's phone number in the database email is okay checkbox is okay K okay, drop down is okay and first name and last name are a bit different so first name 
last name okay now there's another issue we need to send the token from the capture element to the backend in order to verify so what we do we nest this entire insertable object so we call it wix data obj so this is an object nested inside the primary object that we will be sending in the to the backend and then we just take the token like this so token all right i think we are ready to go so on your back end create a gsw file and call it submission input capture backend and input wix data now before we proceed i need to check if uh, the permissions allow anyone to submit on this database or not okay we need to change this to anyone delete and update can remain the same okay now we don't need to use options which is something you use to suppress authorizations if authorizations are required to insert update delete perform actions on a database so we call this function process okay and we receive the object in the function over here between the brackets all right first thing we do is we get the we check the captcha so we check it by we change the object okay and uh, the rest we can leave pretty much the same there's no need to actually change it we just need to change the collection name which is sorry the collection um, code because the collection name and the code that is to be used in the Wix Velo code can be different and uh, obj so the submission object is under obj wix data obj so we're gonna change this to obj dot wix data obj now let's input this function on the front end from backend slash submission dot jsw now we process and then we send the object to the backend by putting it under the brackets between the brackets like this and then we receive the response from the backend actually let me let me translate let me change these so let me give a value of success true this is a boolean uh, if uh, the submission succeeds or a success of false if it does not succeed so this way we can check on the front end if the submission succeeded or not so if res dot success then we let's say we just refresh the page so in order to refresh the page input the wix location api and wix location dot to wix location dot url okay i think we should be ready to check this out so let's go ahead and refresh the page okay so first of all let's go ahead enter the name Sean. email address this is my email address in case you want to reach me reach out to me for projects and I'm gonna give my number let's make a selection and now let's click on captcha okay you see if the captcha is uh, verified the submit button is enabled let's click on submit we didn't add any sort of uh, disabled uh, button when after clicking 
but as you can see the submission has gone through because the page was refreshed we can check this by going on your site dashboard left hand toolbar under content manager and there you'll have your live form so you can see the first name last name email phone number drop down and checkbox values have been saved to the database now in the next part of this video I'm going to show you how you can send uh, let's say uh, an automated email or perhaps you can add this user to your Wix CRM so to your Wix contacts uh, list over here once you receive uh, their form submission so let's let's do that in the next video